back to Make Me a Fan. I'm the Jag. I'm Pete. And today we are recapping Bar Wrestling 55 Mamba, heading for match number two in Zyclopedia. Yes, and sir. it's between two talented, charismatic, and dare I say, um, experienced, some of the most experienced individuals in Southern California. If you don't know who I'm talking about, the encyclopedia will let you know right about now. So yeah, we've got Ray Rosas. Damn right. Uh, SoCal legend. Damn right. Part of, part of legendary tag teams. Also mm. one of the top guys right now in championship. Just, Hell yeah. I mean, we saw him just win the PP3 finals. This For is, sure. This is some pretty crazy stuff. Like, and he's the Arizona champion. And he's the Arizona champion. So this guy's got gold everywhere. Santino Bros champion. Yep. I mean, come on, man. Dude is qualified. He is internationally known, locally respected. He's should a legend. Should be the Zero champion. Should be. Should be. But we talked about that a couple days ago. But his opponent coming to the ring to the sound of some amazing Yacht Rock is none other than Mr. Joey freaking Ryan. Members only, jacket, lollipop, and everything working his way. Mustache, beard, everything just looking like a million bucks. If you can't appreciate Joey Ryan, just turn this off right now and take your ass back to, I don't know, somewhere else. Smoky Mountain or something, I don't know. All right? But I mean, look at this building. This building with Joey Ryan, there's just nothing like it. I mean, this is this is the experience of experience, folks. Oh, for sure. And when, when we're able to return to this wonderful world that we love of professional wrestling, mm -hmm. you guys have to come to the bootleg. You've got to check out Bar Wrestling here. There's nothing like it in the world. It is truly the best. Now, before we get to the match, I have to give a shout out, and I have to tell you clowns that are watching this to take your butts to Impact Plus and watch and see what Joey Ryan is doing right now. The man is amazing. He is prolific and gifted. He's so freaking talented. He's got a thing right now with cancel culture where he's not going to do any more of his patented moves that are related to his nether regions. So he comes out and I won't even tell you, you just have to go look. He comes out dressed in a very different way than what we are normally accustomed to seeing Joey Ryan in. And he has limited his move set and his, his uh, I don't know what to call it, his, his, his talents to what, what the culture is demanding of him. And now he's even partnered up with Mr. Rob Van Dam and Katie Forbes, who is the Santino Brothers veteran, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, she's not even showing off uh, the, her, the goods the anymore. Yeah. yeah, she's got it all covered up. So um, I kind of reminds me a little bit of a right to censor, right? Modern day version. <laughs> love it. And I love it. So if you're not watching Impact, get your ass to Impact Plus, Impact Plus right now and watch it. But back to Bar Wrestling Mamba, we got Ray Rosas in the ring. And of course, surprise, surprise, he's got a drink in his hand, Pete. Not surprised. And of course, Joey Ryan's got a lollipop in his mouth and he has to ask everyone who wants my blow pop and the crowd goes nuts. And see, like the best part is like when you look in the background and you just see people's faces. So we can't see the guy that got it, but we can see everybody else that oh, got yeah. it and boy, oh boy. Yeah. That's a, that's, that's a look of all looks. But of course, it's not a Joey Ryan match. Nope. If he doesn't lubricate up. Now there's no social distance when it comes to that lollipop, but you know what? He's gonna get his, his lubricants and stuff going on. But I do believe, and we're about to see in a second, Ray Rosas was not about to be outdone. He actually lubricates. Uh, he shared his uh, Corona with a fan, not quite a lollipop, but he shared the Corona. And then he poured some down the front of his pan. Then he lubricated himself with the Corona. So Joey Ryan has got the, the blow pop and he's got the, 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 I don't know what to call it. Baby oil. oil, okay. And freaking Ray Roses is lubricated by Corona. So I'm cool with that. And it's about time to get down to business. Am I right? 100%. So of course, Ray sizing up the dong because, uh, why not? You know, they've wrestled multiple times. Uh, Ray's never come out on the uh, on the positive side of this. Really? But, uh, I well, think you gotta know what you're up against. Absolutely. So this time he's like, hey, I'm actually gonna take it to him, but yeah. uh, not this time. It never works out for people when they attack the dong. The dong is just not to be trifled with, and if you do it, you're gonna end up hurting. And Ray Rosas, I think anytime you're faced with something that is just so daunting as Joey Ryan, mm -hmm. and as daunting as the dong itself, you kind of have to take a closer look. It's almost like, you know, when you when something happens, see, black people run when something happens, right? Something happens, dude, black folks run. White people are like, what's going on over there? Ray Rosas, he's not white, but he's looking and he's going, what's going on right here? And he finds out the hard way, it doesn't freaking work. And Joey Ryan, of course, takes advantage and gives him the patented choke and a photo opportunity for the people at home as he chokes the life out of Ray Rosas with his boot and smiles for the camera. For sure, I've probably got a, a cavalcade of people that oh. I've seen Joey Russell, probably at least 30 people that have, that he's done this to. Oh, I believe it. And it's a great camera a camera opportunity. For those of you at home with flyer, wait, for those of you uh, with flash photography, how did that go? Yeah, that was awesome. Edge and Christian throwback. So, and of course, you know, oh, yeah. classic Joey, where he tried to end up pinning him, he got three two counts, and he was trying to tell Nick that he got it twice. Two plus two plus two equals six, but that's not how we do this here. Take that Steiner mask somewhere else, and let's get back down to business. 
So Nick's not gonna have that kind of crap, and of course Ray Rosas ain't going for it either, so he goes back to work, kicking all kinds of butt in the corner. Look Encyclopedia. Back. Yes, sir. When you look at a Ray Rosas match, because mm -hmm. I think we know what to expect when we look at a Joey Ryan match. Mm -hmm. When Oh, except here, this is a little different. I'm sorry, I got distracted. The trunk started to come off, and we almost saw what God gave Joey Ryan. So that, that was a little bit of a close call for the world. But then Ray got a face full of dong, and that's definitely never a good day. Either. Not a good day at the office. That's two, uh, two matches back to back with some up close and personal dong action, but Ray Rosas is able to do his thing and he got a two count it wasn't over yet and he decided to see if he used that uh, corona build up yeah something uh, that's that still wasn't enough not happening not happening but you know whenever we watch joey ryan match you can see right here on the screen he's trying to get ray to touch the dong because if he touches the dong what's going to happen Pete? it's it it's over it's going to be a dong flip possibly a, a walk off and that's going to be the end of the night but when i watch a ray rosas match i'm not quite sure what to expect because the guy is versatile he has mm. so many different things that he can do in the ring i'm not sure what to expect i know the elbow is always in his in his in his repertoire okay but eventually what happens in the most joey ryan matches somebody falls prey to the dog and unfortunately ray did as well yeah you can see right here the anguish on his face look, look, but the best part is like look at all the different faces that ray has during this <laughs> like this is this is classic Ray Rosa's. Oh, like, yeah. uh, uh, this is amazing stuff. So Look at Joey's face, too, because Joey is going for it with everything he's got. So and we get one flip. And then, but but he's but he's not satisfied. No, we got a second one and a third one. Yes, it was serious business. I think that's the first time I've seen the trifecta of dong flips. But you know what? It worked, and, and, and everybody started chanting Eddie. Yeah, yo, oh, yeah, very true. Now the blow pop is in his hand. He's ready to hit the walk off. Ray Rosas is on Dream Street. He doesn't know where the hell he is. And then what happened? Well, he actually missed, but then when he went to pin him, Joey stuck it in his mouth. Yes, which is crazy. He somehow got the blow pop in, he got the, the, the super kick, and was that the end? That's it. That was all she wrote, huh? That's it. Uno, dos, tres. And Ray Rosas is still, still winless against Joey Ryan. Yes. Son of a biscuit. Ray Rosas needs to get a W before he hangs him up. Oh, for sure. But I mean, you know, Ray was uh, willing to give anybody that wanted the sucker. Yeah, and he did hand it out. He gave it to somebody else, which nowadays in the coronavirus uh, yeah, uh, I, world. I don't, I don't know about all that. Danger uh, I, 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 yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if baby burden is the thing to do. But Hell we no. Get, we certainly got photos of it. I didn't want that before the coronavirus, but now, shoot, I especially want to keep my social distance. You can see his buddy getting it there on his, face, on his camera phone as well. But Encyclopedia captured it because he's the master of hashtag Pete's Picks. And this was a hell of a match. Even though the house lights were on, the pictures are amazing encyclopedia. Yes, sir. And I think tomorrow, yes, sir. at nine o'clock Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, we have yet another match for the people featuring a couple of legends. Oh, for sure. Do you, you want can... to tell them now or do you want to wait? Uh, we'll, we'll smart up half of it. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about the first entrance. Of sure. course, we've got uh, Young Fuego, Adrian yes, Quest, of course, yeah. and uh, the New Age Punisher, B-Boy. Mm, if you don't know, you better ask somebody. B-Boy is prolific and gifted. He's talented, he's a veteran, and he's ready to beat your ass. And I don't know who he's going up against. Actually, I do. But we're not gonna tell you yet, because you gotta come back tomorrow at nine o'clock East, I'm sorry, nine o'clock Pacific, 12 noon Eastern. I'm sorry, I messed it up, Pete. It's okay. You gotta help me out. I'm gonna well, tag you in. Tell the people. Absolutely, it's 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. It's okay, as you say, we've been cooped up for a week. It, yeah. This happens, guys. So we're working off the ring rush just like everybody else is. Yeah, when I miss my spots, I gotta go do squats. So I mean, you guys, <laughs> I'll be right back tomorrow at nine o'clock, 12 noon Eastern, and we will see you clowns then. See ya. <laughs>